Hey there YouTube, Mike here. I'm here to do a short little review on the Dual Lenses Vehicle Black Box DVR. Let's picture the box. We've got an instruction booklet, easy to read, easy to understand. Lots of little pictures inside of it. Here's the rear camera mounted on my trunk and it works pretty good. So this is it inside the car. I've got it mounted there I'm using the little suction cup and uh, all the mounting equipment that it came with. I mounted it with, uh, I used some rubbing alcohol, cleaned up the window, and I mounted it. This is me following the wires down, leading up to the power point. Now my car has two plugs, so I'm able to run this while driving, and then I have another port in my console that I use to charge my phone. This is what the camera looks like from the front, from the back. This is what I see while driving. Now, I also use the the, the LCD saver. So the LCD screen shuts off shortly after initiating and that way it doesn't uh, doesn't burn out the LCD I guess. And here's me starting the car. The memory card's not in it because the footage that you're going to see here at the end is currently inside my house and getting converted from MOV to MP4. It's probably the only issue really that I've seen with this camera is it is slightly complicated to get the video off the camera and onto the phone. I do most of my editing on the phone, and so that's kind of my preferred method. But um, again, that little dot down there at the bottom of the dashboard is the rear camera wire. I've got it run along the floor, and I really should have run it along here to make sure that it was long enough. Unfortunately, I didn't do that. It's down along the floor, and I'm going to have to end up rerunning that shortly, just so I have the option of using the rear camera if I so choose. Um, camera's pretty good, you know, it's, uh, video quality is not, you know, 100%, but it's definitely, uh, good enough to show what you need to see. Same with the rear camera, worked good. And now we are, uh, into the driving uh, with the camera. So as far as uh, video stabilization goes, I think it's pretty fantastic. I'm actually going to show you, uh, me going up my driveway and it's pretty steep incline. And there's a couple of little uh, weird bumps in my road to show that the video really doesn't bounce around too much. And this is a 2002 Mazda Millennia, so it's not like I'm riding around in a, a luxury car that you're not going to feel every single uh, bump in the road. I do get to feel quite a bit. So that was a tree that just fell down in a storm we had. After this video is posted, I'll be spending most of the day chopping that up. Here we go way up my driveway. See, there's real no vibration or anything like that. You just kind of see the car move. I like it. Uh, that's good. Uh, you know, I've got another camera that going up the driveway. It bounces all over the place, and I haven't done a review on that because I'm really looking forward to returning it. Now, this one's uh, super good. Here we go, just going down the street. And uh, it handles the, the contrast pretty well from going in the shade of the trees to the sunlight, shade of the trees to the sunlight. Uh, without really uh, being degraded too much. So here is uh, just waiting at the stop sign, cars coming past. If you had to absolutely read a tag, that might be a little difficult. Uh, I don't think the image quality is there, but I don't believe that there are too many cameras that do have the capability to really zoom in on a tag post-processing uh, for a vehicle that had driven past fairly quickly. So here we go up on the road, no real, there's no vibration there, uh, cars aren't all choppy when they're driving past, so it handles that speed kind of well. We're able to see from side of the hood to side of the hood. We can see as high up as the, the windshield is, as low as the hood covers. And it says it's got a 170 degree viewing angle, I'm not really actually sure how to measure that, but we'll have to just take the word for it. Coming up to a street light. Now this thing has a, it says it has a G sensor. Uh, so it's able to sense if you were in an accident. It would automatically lock part of the film. That way it didn't get deleted over, I guess, if you had forgotten to take those clips off the phone, uh, off the um, camera itself.
you know, staring at this camera, you can see just a minute amount of vibration coming from the car, translating into the camera. But really, it looks looks pretty phenomenal. The date on the camera, I think, is off by a few days. 821, I think today is actually the, the 25th, maybe. And here we come, getting up on the interstate. My camera's like, uh, my voice recorder is actually picking up a lot of outside noise. Hopefully, not too much of that translates into this video. Sorry if it does. So we do get up to about 70 miles an hour here, and you will see that the cars and the image quality doesn't degrade as far as the frame rate being able to keep up with our speed. Not too terrible, not too terrible at all. I am going to probably stop doing too much voice right here. Maybe not, I may end up just staying quiet and just letting this run and I'll have to crop that sound out. But uh, the reason I don't have the audio from the camera playing is because uh, the radio in the background and me and my son talking, uh, one, I don't want the copyright from the radio, two, my kid asked some really weird questions, so we'll just not have that posted across the internet. Like, hey dad, why do dogs poop in the yard? I don't know, dude, because dogs poop in the yard, man. That's what they do. But as you can tell, video quality is not that bad. Not bad at all. I really like it. I uh, hopefully intend to use this camera for quite a while. And, um... My hopes also is that I never have to worry about using it post-accident. That would be the greatest thing. But I wouldn't mind catching like a, a meteorite falling from the sky. That'd be cool. Here we are turning down into our street. Bit of a U-turn there. And that's it. I mean, I really hope that uh, this video has helped you in the decision-making process uh, picking up this camera. I do have another video on my page. I'm not going to link it in this. Just go ahead and look for it. You can like and subscribe. Check out the video I posted for the other camera, the Preview, and uh, see if you like the difference. That's for my wife's van. This one's for my car, and um, two really good options, I think, for capturing day-to-day -day driving. And again, if you've liked this, go ahead and like and subscribe, and uh, I'll tell you to hit the notification button, but I'm really not too worried about that. Um, just really hope that you like this. Ciao.